Welcome to the episode number five of Open RAN series. Today we will discuss a very important topic, the ORAN architecture overview. So let's start. In the ORAN architecture, the radio side includes, uh, or ORAN architecture includes two domains or three domains. So for example, we can see here the radio side. So the radio side here includes something is called near uh, uh, real time rec, OCU, CP, OCU, UP, ODU, and ORU. We will explain everything, don't worry. And the management side or the upper side is called the management side. Include SMO or service management and orchestration framework that include or contains a non-real-time break function. We will explain uh, also them in the upcoming slide. Also, there are some interfaces, some of them FreeGPP, and some of them ORAN interfaces. We will explain everything also. So let's start by management side or upper side. It's called management side. So the uh, OPERAN Alliance or ORAN Alliance SMO or Service Management and Orchestration Platform is an intelligent, an intelligent automation platform which applies automation at scale to simplify the complexity of network as well as, the, for example, improve network performance, enhance customer experience, and minimize RAN operational cost. So here we have a two function, management function and automation and orchestration function. So we can say the SMO is a component that oversees all the orchestration aspect and the management and automation of the RAN element. It support three type of interfaces as we will see in the next slide. Here we can see these interfaces, O1, O2, and A1. So the first one is O1, and this interface between management entities in SMO and ORAN managed element, or sometimes we say it's a RAN element. For example, this type of connectivity between O1, for example, uh, with near real time OCU, ODU, and so on, is for operation and the management uh, service, like uh, fault management, uh, configuration management, uh, or all FCAPS management, software management, file management, shall be achieved through O1, okay? <coughs> Sorry for cap. O2 is a second interface previously is called o1 asterisk but now it's officially o2 and this between interface between smo and infrastructure or olan virtual network function or o cloud okay and we will also explain everything third one most important one is a1 interface between non real time rec and the near real time rec and we will explain them in separate episode what is rec what is the difference between non-real time rec and near real time rec what are the application our apps x app everything we will explain also so <clears throat> over this interface non-real time rec performs something is called a policy management enrichment information use modeling for uh, ai and machine learning model updates to the near real time rec so there will be a guidance from non-real-time rec to the near real-time rec. So this is the management side. So <clears throat> one of the most important element here in the management side is called the non-real-time. And uh, sure, we will have explanation for the rec and so on. But so far, we can say or we can define the non-real-time rec as a logical node. So this enable, as we see, non-real-time control and optimization of all resources, workflow modeling between uh, non-real-time break and real-time leak. So based on that, there will be updates, policy-based guidelines of application features in near-real-time break, 
So it enables something uh, is called near real time control and optimization of all ORAN element and the resource by uh, some data collection and action over E2 interface as we will see between near real time RIC and ODU and ORU. So <clears throat> the non real time RIC is a part of SMO centrally deployed in the service provided network and enable something is called non real time. And when we say non real time, we mean the operation, the service with more than one second control of RAN element. Okay, so this is non latency uh, like procedure or service. It's a limitation of the time more than one second. So it's a non real time. Okay, and there are some application will be deployed here. Uh, it's called our apps. We'll explain them later. Okay, so this is overview about management side. If we are going now to the second part is the radio side. And the radio or an architecture is radio side, which include near real time, OCU, ODU, and ORU only. Okay, or cloud is infrastructure, so it's not in radio side. So let's start by near real time, Rick. And here, it's a logical also uh, function that enable near real time and time optimization and the control and the data monitoring of OCU and ODU nodes in real time scale. That means between 10 millisecond to one second. To this end, near real time rec control is stirred by the policies and assisted by models computed and trained by the non real time rec. So we, we got the in instructions, we got the data, we got the new configuration based on some policies and the data driven happened in non real time rec. Okay, so one of the main operation assigned to near real time rec, for example, is radio resource management or RRM. We can <coughs> say the near real time rec controls RAN element and the resources with optimization action that between 10 and uh, 1 millisecond, it receives policy guidelines from non-real-time REC and provides policy feedback to the non-real-time. So it will be closed loop, take uh, pressure and give feedback through a specialized application is called XApp. So here we will deploy XApp, here we will deploy our app. And uh, now we will talk about OCU. As you know, 5G is disaggregated the centralized, uh, as we discussed in the disaggregation episode, to OCU, ODU, ORU, and the OCU will be disaggregated to control plane and user plane. And it's a logical node hosting RRC, SDAP, BDCP, and will have a two subcomponent OCU, central Ionic control plane, and user plane. So its function is hosted the uh, non latency protocols and also the RRC is the uh, is there and the BTCP. Next is ODU and it's the distributed unit logical node also based on uh, split function 7.2 it will be host RLC Mac and the high physical layer based on the low lower layer functionality split we already explained this in the previous episodes. <coughs> So now uh, the last one is ORU. Uh, this is a logical node hosting low physical and RF processing based on a lower layer uh, function split or LLS. And this is uh, similar to 3GBP uh, RRH, but more specific in including the low physical layer uh, like FFT, IFFT, PRATCH, extraction, and so on. So this is the main function of ORU. And as you can see, the OCloud, like uh, the last one here, is just uh, infrastructure. And this infrastructure will be hosted like the memory, CPUs, all hardware or servers or virtual CNF uh, platform that will, based on this infrastructure, we will host all our software for ODU or OCU, non-real SMO, everything will be hosted on the upper layer based on infrastructure, its uh, servers or uh, 
a cloud or whatever uh, virtual network function or containers network function it's based on the deployment itself so <clears throat> we can conclude what is the ORAN architecture overview there will be a different types of component first one SMO service management and orchestration free, uh, framework uh, include an integration fabric and the data service for the functions it manage it manage also a function and interoperate and communicate with o cloud and also connect it to the to manage the rec ocu or cloud odu and so on second one is the rec or ran intelligent controller and there are two types of RICs. Uh, non real time and near real time both are logical function for controlling and optimizing the element and resources of ORAN a near real uh, time rec control and optimize element and the resources with uh, data collection and communication over the O2 interface the O E2 sorry E2 interface as you can see here connects the near real time rec with the OCU ODU so sometimes you can say all of this node is called the E2 nodes, okay? <clears throat> Third one, OCU, and the OCU is a logical node that hosts a handful of protocol, which like RRC or Radio Resource Control, is the service data adaptation protocol and the packet data conversions protocol or BDCP. Then ODU and ODU here is a logical node also hosted another set of protocol which are the radio link control, RLC, uh, MAC, MIDI, uh, medium access control protocol and physical high physical interface. As we know, physical layer is separated to high and low. Uh, ORU is processes uh, the radio frequency received by the physical layer of the network and the process radio frequencies are sent to the audio through a front hall interface as you can see here is very important interface it is called a front hall interface between ORU and ODU and there are some planes CUS plane meaning uh, control user uh, synchronization and the management so this is a very important front hall like uh, there are some latency capacity uh, constraints on these numbers the last one, <coughs> OCloud, and OCloud is a cloud computing platform made up like physical infrastructure node using the ORAN architecture. It also create and host various uh, virtual network function VNFs uh, used by RIC and other infrastructure element can be cloud, can be physical server, can be parameter. So it's based on the deployment. So this is just a very, very, very high level just to understand the most interfaces nodes uh, what is the difference between uh, management and ready and infrastructure uh, layers and what are the combination between them most in of interfaces you can see here like ng xn uh, x2 all of them like 3gbb e1 between oc ucp and o f1 u f1 c all of <coughs> sorry all of them are 3GBB. Some of them are new, like the green one, A1, O1, O2, E2, all of them uh, are new. And there are some further interfaces for the future scope. Uh, so uh, based on the next releases of ORAN alliances. So uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel to get notification for all upcoming Open RAN episodes. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment on the YouTube video comment section. See you in the next episodes.